Hi, I'm Brad Fry, Music Supervisor here at Ava Technologies, here with an updated demo for the Upload MIDI feature. Now, if you haven't already seen our recent announcement video for the uh, release date of the Upload MIDI feature, I would highly recommend you go watch that first. I don't want to spoil it for you. I think it's a very entertaining video, so we'll kind of link that um, somewhere over here, okay, in the corner. Um, and in the meantime, just for those of you who maybe aren't aware of what the Upload MIDI feature is supposed to be, the idea is that you can take one of your own MIDI files or someone else's MIDI file and upload it to the music engine and Ava will generate a piece of music that is similar to that file um, by sort of analyzing the different musical qualities of it and trying to uh, use those qualities to generate something similar. And today, I'm happy to give you an updated demo to that feature. We've had a lot of people uh, who have been continuing to uh, ask us about this feature ever since we announced it last year. Uh, and so a lot of stuff has changed since then. With that being said, let's uh, hop onto the music engine. And first thing I'm going to do is click Create Track and then Upload an Influence. And from here, you can see we can either drag and drop a MIDI file into this box or simply click and navigate to uh, wherever our MIDI file is on our system. Uh, and then from there, we can customize a few parameters, including instrumentation and duration. Now, if you leave instrumentation, for example, set to auto, what's going to happen is Ava will try to determine uh, what the instrumentation should be based on the MIDI file, just by simply looking at the MIDI file. Now the problem with that is MIDI files can be uh, quite messy and not particularly organized, and so uh, it's not always obvious what instrument one track is supposed to represent. And so if the MIDI file is not reliable for uh, one reason or another, by choosing something other than auto, like uh, some sort of orchestra or rock ensemble or uh, anything like that, you will essentially override whatever uh, analysis or, or classification that Ava might do of the MIDI file. So the first piece that we're going to work with today is uh, Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. And so I will uh, just play you a few seconds of that if you're not already aware of what this piece is. Okay, so I'm going to open that, uh, and then I'm going to select Bright Piano because we do want this to be uh, piano, so we'll overwrite whatever analysis happens. Let's say that there was no piano label or something in the MIDI file. Uh, so I'll click that, and then I will click Create. Uh, and then what has to happen is Avo is going to analyze the track. It's going to look for... Uh, different qualities such as harmonic qualities. It's going to see uh, what is the melody doing, what sort of rhythms are happening, um, what is the instrumentation, uh, all of these things it has to try to determine. Then it's going to generate a new piece, then it has to sample the piece, uh, and then it's going to give it to you. Now, uh, this may take longer than it usually takes to generate a piece of music because of all of this analysis that has to happen, but I will tell you uh, even if it takes a few minutes to generate uh, this first piece that we're going to listen to today, what's going to happen after that is Ava's going to hold on to that MIDI file and the, um, the model, if you will, and if you want to generate more pieces based off of the same MIDI file, those pieces should take uh, much less time after that because it's already sort of done those initial steps. So um, it may take a few minutes here, so for the sake of time, I'm going to skip ahead in the video to when it's finished and show you the uh, piece that has been generated. Okay, so now the piece is finished generating. Uh, I have not touched this piece, I haven't edited it at all, so we're listening to the raw output, so I'm going to go ahead and play it for you. Uh, I'm gonna put my headphones on. <clears throat>
Okay. So, definitely, I think it's uh, it's easy to tell that there are similarities between this and the Moonlight Sonata, uh, but also I think it's easy to tell that there are distinct uh, differences between them that make them their own unique pieces. So, for example, this sort of flowing, uh, arpeggiated accompaniment in the piano uh, is shared between the Moonlight Sonata and this piece. Sort of a basic, you know, rhythmic uh, outline. The harmonies up here are very similar. There are some shared chords. Uh, So, for example, the C-sharp minor to the G-sharp 7 is something that happens a lot in the Moonlight Sonata. We have this uh, sort of cadence here with the um, D major to the to the G sharp seven that happens in the Moonlight Sonata as well. So there are some shared chords. It's not the exact same progression, of course, um, but definitely gets us the uh, overall feeling of the Moonlight Sonata. While again um, being its own piece, uh, and the melody also, if we look here, um, very sparse and you know there's not a lot of notes. It doesn't doesn't make great leaps or anything uh, like that. Uh, another, you know, sort of uh, quality that is shared between this and the Moonlight Sonata. So I think uh, overall we've um, sort of successfully recreated the mood and, and um, we've gotten most of the way there while still, again, being an original piece. Uh, and of course, uh, we can sort of do all of the things that we can normally do with the music that's generated from the presets. We can change the instrumentation. Uh, We can do sort of these additional uh, changes to the MIDI, such as doing the octave transpositions and the dynamic offsets. Uh, All of that is available to us here as normal. Um, We even have a generated tempo map. So there is one example of the upload MIDI. We're going to try to do something a little more complex now uh, with a fully orchestrated piece of music. We're going to use IMAI, which is a uh, AVA classic. I'm sure Many of you have already heard it before, but if you haven't, uh, I'll play it quick for you. Um, I would recommend that you go listen to that. I think we're going to, by the time this video goes up, we're going to have a new uh, waveform video for the original IMAI. Funny, we we never actually made a proper waveform video for that. So you can go listen to the whole thing. We're going to try to generate a similar uh, piece of music to this. So I'm going to select the MIDI, uh, upload it, and I'm going to leave the instrumentation set to auto this time. I want you to see what happens with the uh, orchestration if we just don't tell it to do anything. Uh, And I'm going to click Create. And again, I'm going to skip ahead in the video. It's going to take some time now. We're doing a new piece, and it has to analyze it. So uh, I'm going to skip ahead a few minutes, and we'll listen to the generated track. Okay, so the new piece is finished generating, and I've already listened to a little bit of it, so the red dot is not there. But um, again, what we're going to listen to is the raw output from Ava, and let's see if we got anywhere close.
Okay, so not bad, huh? <laughs> um, let's take a look at this. So first things first, uh, if I recall correctly, in the original IMAI, the chord progression is something like A minor, C, F, and G. Um, or actually, I think it's F, G, A minor, C in that order. So you can see a lot of those same chords uh, have carried across here, but the order of the chords is different. So again, borrowing traits, doing something new with them. Um, we can see here in the beginning, for example, we have a prominent use of the piano doing this kind of arpeggiated piano pattern, again, similar to IMAI, both in the accompaniment, rhythmic, and instrumentation um, qualities. Uh, and then even actually later on in the piece, when we change to these, uh, the string ostinato, again, very similar. And the melody, very simple uh, flowing melody uh, that just sort of repeats these different motifs. Uh, I think it's, it's pretty uh, pretty catchy melody and pretty similar to the IMAI. Uh, and again, distinctly its own, I think. Again, as I mentioned earlier, we can make whatever sort of edits to this that we want. So if you say, well, actually, I don't want nine horns here. I only want four. Uh, that's an easy change to make. Um, you can change the tempo. All of the normal things you can do in the new piano roll can be done to the pieces that you generate with the uh, upload MIDI. With that being said, I'm going to stop there. I hope you enjoyed these two new examples of the upload MIDI feature at work. Um, still in the alpha stage right now, so things are subject to change, um, whether it be you know the interface or the output um, between now and the beta release. Um, but stay tuned, we'll be updating you all the way, and if you have uh, any suggestions, any comments, any feedback regarding this feature, um, feel free to leave us a comment in the comments below this video, or you can reach out to us at feedback at ava.ai, or you can join our Discord server and talk with us and all the other uh, cool kids using Ava, and uh, let us know what you think there. So, uh, until then, thanks for watching.